High level state cabinet meeting discusses to abolish caretakers of autonomous district councils and urban local bodies in Manipur. All Manipur 10th and 11th IRB Viva Voichi completed candidate storms, chief ministers, residents at Luang Sangam and Imphal East District demanding results declaration. Manipur tops in third editions of Niti Ayok's India Innovation Index 2021 in Northeast and Hill States category. Manipur Drivers Association skeptical about national highways and infrastructure development corporations assurance that the Irang Bailey Bridge will be ready by July. Earlier wrong, the civil bodies demanded government to declare August 29th as a state holiday in memory of freedom fighter Hypo Jadana. Coronavirus infected 89 people and claimed two lives in past 24 hours. Manipur COVID case lot reaches 1,38,310. And India adds 21,566 new COVID-19 cases, above 18,000 recoveries and 45 deaths in 24 hours. COVID cash loads above 48,000. Hello and welcome to Impact News. You're watching Prime Time English Bulletin and I'm Kanal Sambandaram with you. To stay protected from coronavirus, wash your hands frequently, wear your masks properly and maintain a safe distance from one another. Please remember that the fight against the COVID-19 is not over yet. Now, the news in details. Manipur State Cabinet resolved to abolish caretakers of autonomous district councils and urban local bodies in Manipur during a high-level cabinet meeting held today in Imphal this afternoon. The meeting also discussed that election for the ADC and municipality will be conducted in October. Speaking to media at the office of IPR Minister and New Secretariat post-meeting, Minister Dr. Sapamd Ranjan informed that date for ADC and municipality elections have not been decided yet. He maintained that the panchayat election will be deferred for some time. Minister Dr. Sapamd Ranjan said autonomous district councils in the state will be increased to 10 from the present six ADCs. Moreover, the cabinet also approved the increase the number of ADC to a maximum of 26 members and a minimum of five each. He asserted that the cabinet meeting also resolved to set a rule for ADC with 26 members to have 24 elected persons and councils with willed five member to have the three elected members. Urban local bodies, those are the caretaker, chairperson, caretaker, and the caretaker system is the autonomous district council, the urban local bodies, that's municipalities, the city is abolished, the cabinet decision to the ADC, the municipality election, some way date fixed, the municipality election, the autonomous district council, the cabinet decision to the ADC, the autonomous district council, 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 Speaking to media, po, uh, media post the cabinet meeting held today, IPR Minister Sapam Ranjan said the state cabinet has decided to introduce a promotion system for BDF personnel of the Manipur police on a seniority basis. He went on to say that the cabinet also resolved to promote BDF personnel who have completed eight years of service to the rank of corporal and those who have completed 16 years of service to a uh, surgeon. He said a screening committee would decide the promotion of the VDF personnel. Minister Sapam Ranjan maintained that the state cabinet resolved to give a honorarium of 500 rupees to every VDF personnel per year starting January 1st of 2023 under a welfare scheme of the Manipur government. He added that a VDF personnel will be allotted to take a 15th day compulsory leave annually. The minister 
asserted that any VDF personnel could not appeal within 30 days from the time a uh, show coast notice is served for dismissals of service issued against them from the DIG level. Dr. Ranjan said the cabinet also approved increasing the cash rewards for gallantry awards for state police. Video personnel sing zi mugi hong ba kara da akoi ki mugi honorarium hana lai ba do every year so he kuding ki first January 2023 da ki lupa chonga chonga annual increase lupa chonga chonga pi da ni video personnel sing zi direct recruitment akoi ki police constable oiro rifleman oiro mugi horizontal reservation da eligible oiba eligibility criteria do fulfilled of bugi da mak ta mugi 10% reserved tamna bai da mugi direct recruitment ki zita akoi kandre akoi ki video personnel sing zi so he could the physical and mental tests make a fitness down in a bit so crazy decision I'm a low gray all Manipur 10 and 11 IRB Viva Vochi completed candidate Storm's Chief Minister Nong Thombum Birin's resident at Luang Sangbam in Imphal S district demanding their result declaration. Police lathi charged the protesters who stormed the Chief Minister's residence holding a banner that read June Gond, Promise Gond and chanting various slogans around 12.30 today. Security guards posted at the Chief Minister's residence struggled with the RA protesters and prevented them from entering. Later, Hengang police team, delayed by OC Pathok, rushed to the spot and managed to foil the protesters. Police picked up the three protesters and later released them after a dialogue. Karnataka, Manipur and Chandigarh have topped in their respective categories in the third edition of Niti Ayuk's India Innovation Index. Government think tank Niti Ayuk today released the third edition of the India Innovation Index 2021, while Karnataka has topped again in the major state category. Manipur is leading the Northeast and Hill States category with 19.37 scores and Chandigarh is the top performer in the Uni Union Territories and City States category. Manipur also topped in Northeast and Hill States category in Enabler Index with 28.55 and second in Performers Index in Northeastern Hilly States with a score of 10.19. The third edition highlights the scope of an innovation analysis and the country by drawing on the framework of the global innovation index the number of indicators has increased from 36 from the previous edition to 66 in the current edition the indicators are now distributed across 16 sub pillars which in turn from seven key pillars Manipur Drivers Association General Secretary Sanjoy Khetrimayum expressed disbelief over the claimed by National Highway and Infrastructure Development Corporation NHIDCL that the Irang Bailey Bridge will be completed within July 28. Representatives of the Manipur Drivers Association, Noni Bran, Senapati District Truck Drivers Union, and Senapati District Truck Owners Association inspected the condition of the ongoing repair of the Bailey Bridge today. Speaking on the sidelines, Sanjay said progress of the repair is far from satisfactory. He added that even if the bridge get ready, many parts of the highway are still in bad shape with innumerable potholes. Manipur da BCP government na pan ba horok pada lambi asibu aeroplane taba yana mong da sembi gani ay na highbi gibe do madu taba ko na onthok piu may gitang sign thoy da gina ngasi bokta mo yi film jia dum kasi thoro pa hong may lay tabay ta ta makong ma jahira me aso na kan thang sign kasi subo subo na te ada si gie akoy ba si gie hanu gie lambi si na te bida na kan lambi gie mati kara tak posi na te thoro pa kasi jang kahe na jam na taksin na ay na ngasi lapo si lambi deso may slide mati mati to ba maintenance to ba pagi may ama miyemo ure si gie masok yam ba si gie kaimda to ba ngam draga Kutak tak tahu hak kita mahu hanya tangkut sahaja, tapi si tahu bangga buat apa itu, tapi kita tak tahu apa itu. 
Manipur Drivers Asso Association's General Secretary Sanjoy Khetrimayum also highlighted the pathetic condition of the two major lifelines of the state, the Imphal Juribam Highway No. 37 and Imphal Dimapur National Highway No. 2. He stressed that transportation of essential commodities and fertilizers along these highways is being hindered due to their deplorable condition. He said many Infald bound vehicles are being stranded in Dimapur as the Nagaland government on July 15 prohibited heavy transporters' vehicles from plying along the Infald Dimapur road from for 25 days due to the ongoing repairs on the road stretch from Dimapur to Kohima. Stating that drivers and handymen are facing immense plight, he appealed to the Manipur government to get in touch with the Nagaland government to facilitate their movement. Manipuri Pazagi, no Mugi sang the other Bapasa Kudima Pusalapada, in Panjibam Labi Sizu, Adukimati, Asoba, Hodam Lorimini, Nasing Asima, Low Singi Matamasida, Har Pangadanda, Udonda, Prazana, Irang Hoegi, Irang Botelinari, Chigi Maraxida, Nagaland Gormena, Julaigi, Tantra Mangadigi, Nimit Kunga Mangani Sumna, Lambi Asida, Transport Ki, Gari Amata, Moment of Viganu Henachi and Gibadigi, Awaba Kiamas of Mayonari, Masigi Matanazu, Manipur Gormena, Yaragadi, Nagaland Gormega, what is Hanabiraga, Gari Singi, Satosa Sinta, what I have. The representative also held a meeting with NHIDCL General Manager, Project Lieutenant Colonel Retired Asutosh Mishra during the visit. Reportedly, Sanjoy brought up the issues of the Bailey Bridge and the pathetic state of the Imphal Jadibamd Road, appreciating the associations for apprising the matter to the relevant authorities. Mishra said renovation could not be completed on time due to bad weather conditions. He assured that repair of the Irang Bridge would be completed by July 28th. Asutosh Mishra said he has met with relevant contractors over speeding up the repair of Imphal Jadibam Road. He assured that repair of the road would be over by August 1st week. It may be recalled that the Irang River washed away the Bali Bridge on the 12th of May this year following a downpour. Works Minister Govindas Gontagjom inspected the site on July 18th and promised to repair the bridge within July. Bridge in the end of this month, bridge up the Banjaga, but approach Bananega, Tulabako, Lega, Vika, who come clear Kerke, traffic will open the Fal Jiribampe, maintenance car, map, Jesse Pelevi, but I have Loko, Yamari responsibility as in a passenger, jab main chal raha hon, if I am not satisfied, ride is not so smooth, so you guys also can't be in a satisfied. So, wo is smooth karna, ride or maintenance is got Tikana, accident. ना हो उससे बचाना ह्यूमन लाइफ इंपॉर्टेंट है ये हमारा है हम कोशिश कर रहे हैं और वो होगा मैं अभी मंडे को ही मीटिंग लिया है उन सबको डायरेक्शंस दिए हैं एंड पीपल आर वर्किंग डोंट वरी आपने देखा भी होगा तो अभी कई जगह पर काम ढंग से होने की कोशिश हो रही है और भी आप देखोगे वीक के अंदर ही काफी इंप्रूवमेंट आपको नजर जिलेरोंग यूनियन असमड मणिपुर नागालैंड Kabui Union Manipur, Kabui Mothers Association Manipur and Azako Manipur demand the government to declare August 29th as a state holiday in memory of freedom fighter Haipo Jadunang who died on this day. Speaking to media at the Pona Market near Kakulong today, leaders of various associations said Haipo Jadunang was a great freedom fighter who fought against the British and they have been demanding the same for around 20 years. They appealed to fulfill their demand on the occasion of Ajadi Ka Amrut Mahotsav in reverence to unsung heroes of the country. Taking part in the meeting, Hilt Area Committee Chairman Kamd Nungba Amale Dipu Gangmai termed the demand as apt and appealed to the relevant authorities to fulfill the demand considering the sentiment of Jalyarong community. ไฮเปอร์ <laughs> As a Zelengrong people in particular, Amadi, Equi Manipur Praja in general, Nazuki Matik, Nungai Zagani. 
Members and workers of the Manipur Pradesh Congress Committee MPCC today staged a protest demonstration against the repeated summoning of Congress President Sonia Gandhi by the Enforcement Directorate in connection with the National Herald case. A, a heated argument and shot between the protesters laid by MPCC President K. Mega Chandra and city police personnel. MPCC workers first staged a protest meet at Congress Bhavan in Imphal against today's summoning of Sonia Gandhi by the ED. Protesters then tried to march towards Raj Bhavan around 1 p.m. City police intercepted the rally, which led to an intense scuffle. Finally, additional police forces arrived at the scene and managed to disperse the protesters back to the Congress Bhavan. Speaking on the sideline, MPCC President K. Megachandra said the repeated summoning of Congress President Sonia Gandhi by the ED is unreasonable. He alleged that the Enforcement Directorate is a puppet in the hand of the BJP. <laughs> Adagi enforcement directorate se masi BJP ki magi kulai hoy na sinu raga masi mana tauning bata tawa nimo na harassment piba amadi political miles political ki kudung sabo lau na ba political drama ta uno na ba kita magta askumba enforcement directorate se BJP ki lengang makhada layre masi kulai hoy na sinu layre masi na Bharat ki institution puri mag paralyze tauray masi di not only ED ato pa on the other hand, BJY and Manipur Pradesh allege MPCC workers of manhandling city police personnel in today's agitation. Speaking to media at Thambal Sanglin in Nitya Pachitek today, BJY and Manipur Pradesh President Manohar Mayumd Badish Sharma said there is no issue with Congress workers carrying out their protest. However, the Congress workers manhandled the police personnel. He appealed to stop hurting police who are here to safeguard the public. ตัดสินเอจิเตชั่นตัววิบากคอปีบดมอยมาพอมมันอิงละจิกนะตัวเบียร์ปับลิกตาไม่ค่อยยี่ยามนะฮาราชเป็นปีเดียร์ดาแต
All Manipur MGNREGA Implementing Agency Committee warned of indefinite economic blockade along National Highway 39 and National Highway 53 from the midnight of July 24 if Manipur government fails to release the pending fund of MGNREGA within July 24. Speaking to media at Manipur Pradesh Manipur Press Club today. Committee convener M. Manik John said the state government is yet to release the full amount of MGNREGA funds already sanctioned by the Center for the financial year 2021 2022 and 2022 2023. He said the state government has released a fund for 2021 2022 for the Valley area after a series of agitations. However, the government has not released a fund for Hill District till date. Manik John Chant alleged the government of holding back 756 crore, 49 lakh, and 62,000 rupees for the financial year 2022-2023, recently sanctioned by the center. He slammed the attitude of the Manipur government as a factor in the failure of MGNREGA skimmed in the state. He added that elected local bodies have been facing problems with initiating activities owing to the prevailing situation. To 30 crore thadu pa shida, shi ki pashadi beli dedi phanga ga hills ki district singdana numit manga ni dege na phang di hai. Okiba tang kulum doi sentient government dege la keba 756 crore 4962,000. Hai riba sentient phama shi hoji phawo thadu pa dene lai re adubu. Hai riba maagi order shi da yao riba shi da di numit khum ni manu to implementing agency yo biyo hai bani. Tang kun mari bo ki manu da hai riba pashadi full release tau bhida targa di. Hai riba numit ashi ki ahing nong hai dege. Awe ki nesten hai riba ani mag. Economy block itu kan ni, hari ni nama tu kat tepi, sih perihal sih logjar kan ni, hari ni saya ambang dalam sini. The District Agriculture Office in Kakjing has started functioning from today following the plea of J and G V O Kakjing to the state government to make the office functional in view of plights facing farmers in Kakjing district. Speaking to media, J and G V O Kakjing advisor P Somarendra said. Though Kakjing was declared as full-fledged district in 2016, the district lags behind in infrastructural development and has been facing a shortage of relevant offices. He encouraged local farmers to bring up their grievances at the district agriculture office from now onwards. He also appealed to relevant offices, officials to take necessary actions to short out their issues of farmers. Jasmine su, kau miam nasi. Kau mi naga, kopi sin nasi, staf sin nasi, pasal nasi lomi naga. Matam matam gigi, lawu sungi daripada lawi bah, lawu sing, lawu sungi gua daripada lawi bah. Tapi kalau pun nama tu, tangkut mi nasi. Aduh na, tangai pada na, asing nama bah, district agriculture office, kacing da, hangat na bagi, coba, kong jengah mai koi na, sanjin jadi bodoh. Kau gigi, office gigi staf hampir ada bini na, masih mesti mai pagi le. Aduh kau perasa sin nasi, daripada lawi bah sing do, office dia ding birak lega. Matam matam gigi, mangjau na na, sih sang daripada lawi bah, kaidau gua sing do. District Agriculture Officer of Thaubald and Kakching, Naurem Joy Kumar, maintained that the District Agriculture Office in Kakching remained non functional owing to lack of the sub divisional agriculture officers. EO field staff, chokidar and furniture. He assured that efforts will be made to make the office fully functional at the soonest. Joy Kumar also said that the agriculture department is working towards solving the fertilizer shortest issue. He said 53,810 bags of the urea have been provided to farmers in Kakching and Thobald district through respective MLAs so far and that the department will give away the remaining urea bags to farmers. Public 
Linhakong Development Committee condemned unidentified miscreants who destroyed saplings planted along the historical Linhakong stream in Langtabal constituency. Reportedly, the miscreants even broke down the locked off the fences of the stream. Speaking to media today, LDC Secretary L. Vumeshwar said morning joggers noticed the broken fencing lock today. It may be mentioned that Langtabal MLA Karam Shant initiated the restoration of the Linha Kong stream which flows from the Hairangoi Thong Maibam Lekai till the gate number 2 of Manipur University, Kanchipur in 2017. Bhumeshwar said LDC has also been working towards preserving the stream and had planted saplings to revamp the Linha Kong stream in solidarity with Grint Mission Manipur. He warned that LDC would file a complaint at Singjimai police station regarding the incident. ลำดมสิดาอคุยนาอูปามเบียมะหิงนะบ่หนะบะแกกิมติอวากิดุขังดะบะมันบะมีวิรสุมีมันดะบะอะดุมะกิวาคลอนเจนบะลำดมสิด
Yaukrabani. Hanasu auctioned Toba Yaukrabani. Kanganjariba Panthavi Housing Finance Company Limited Amasung Sister Company Singh. Taurangbam Lekai Uripok Imphal. HRD Academy Gari Epodrot Imphal. Admission going on for class 11 science. Limited seats only. Our special features are 80% and above free admission to ward rupees 16,500. 70% and above free admission to 50% free ward rupees 8,250. And 60% and above direct admission. Terms and condition apply. For details, please visit HRD Academy during school hours. Yai School Moinang Khom Imphal West Saleba Brazilal Institute of Sciences BSK Academic Session 2022-23 ki Class 11 Science Kit Mission Hausari Online Registration in the Mark Pizariba website http v schoolin ADM Form BIS Moinang Khom Asida Register W Offline Admission in the Mark School Office R Ayuki Pungni Panda Gina Nung Thilgi Pungani Pau Ta Lak Piraka Admission Tobi Bayagani Akupa Marol in the Mark 9366-201-278 Natraga 9862276589 Asida Kul Taubiraka Kambi Bayagani Dam Academia Naurem Thong Baja Akak Nabasit Masing Ni Ahan Balak Pam Hayro Ising Da Free Sip Pijari Class 11 Science Ki Admission Pi Lau Jaro Prism Academia Naurem Thong Baja of success. Get enrolled to one of the finest schools in Northeast India, UNACO School, Excellence in Education. Presto personalized wonders. Imphal da nauna hangtok chari. Haidi basida personalized gifts, corporate gifts, awards and mementos, home decor, office rubber stamp na chingba po lam sing. Mapham asida pangbigani. Nasi maglang sing birau. Tilagras Enterprises. Presto Tangal Bazaar near Kasturi Tong Imphal. Contact number 0385-244-9025 Natraga 9862100456. Nat Welcome back after the break. You're watching Prime Time English Bulletin. India added 21,566 new COVID-19 cases, 18,294 recoveries and 45 deaths in the last 24 hours. As per the latest report of Union Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, India's COVID-19 active cash lot stands at 1,48,881. Total recoveries are 4 crore 31,50,434. Recovery rate stands at 98.4%. 60%. That toll reaches at 5,25,870. Over 200 crore 91 lakh doses of COVID-19 vaccine have been administered in India so far. Globally, coronavirus has infected above 57 crore 18 lakh 8,000 people. It has claimed above 66 lakh 96,000 people and recoveries are above 54 crore 19 lakh 26,000. United States of America has the highest active cases of above 37 lakh 43,000 in the world. World. Free COVID-19 booster dose vaccination to drive for eligible beneficiaries above 18 years was held at the Moray Primary Health Center today. The drive was conducted under the 75th Ajadika Amrut Mahatsav. Similar drives will be held on Tuesday and Thursday at the PHC. Eligible beneficiaries are requested to required to bring along the vaccinated certificate when they came to get booster dose. Dengue positive cases are on the rise in the Indo-Myanmar border town of Mori with the addition of one more positive case today. As per a report received today from the KRS NAA lab of subdivision hospital at Mori, a 27-year-old woman from Mori Ward number 7, Ting Tong Veng, tested positive for dengue. 
Two people under Technopolt District Morris subdivision were found positive for dengue yesterday. Total infected persons are 40. It may be mentioned that a minor boy of nine year old recently succumbed to dengue in the border town. Amid the spread of swine fever in some parts of the Manipur, a dead pig was found floating in the Kakching Sekmai River in the Ka Manipur College area this morning. Regarding this, Kakching District DC Somarjit Salamd has warned the public that disposing of dead animals in ponds and rivers is a punishable offence under the prevention and control of Infectious and Contagious Diseases in Animals Act 2009. D.C. Somarjit maintained that if any person was found dumping dead animals in water bodies, he or she would be fined or imprisoned. Health Services Director Dr. Koyromd Shashi Kumar appealed to government nurses not to hesitate to serve at remote locations and to stop hiring replacements. He was speaking at the opening ceremony of a week-long training for nurses today at Janim's Hospital. Manipur Nursing Council Lumfield, in association with Janim's Hospital, organized the program under the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. Speaking on the occasion, Dr. Shashi Kumar loaded nurses for the tireless service and urged them to work with dedication and sacrificial spirit. He also assured of striving towards implementing the seventh pay of Janim's nurses. Janim's director, Dr. Eld Devant, medical superintendent, Dr. Lokeshwar, Manipur Nursing Council, Lumfeld Registrar T.H. Nandrani, and Janim's hospital nursing superintendent, M. Jiban Lata, attended the event. Nurse, I was in Sinane, nurse, an overseer, Niaga, Tavoto, other Moyno, don't my own name. Masi, 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 Tokse, Marande, Nanatam, yes, yes, Napoleon, the Kaleva, Karikangebo, Mamma, the Susan, Summer Pirina, I Susan, Summer Pirina, this is win win situation. But that does not happen. Legally, that does not happen. Patient quality care so keneva, Manipurke, Nurse, India, the Komsi Yangwang, Atopo Levaxin, Maruena, Japanga, UK, the so Manipurke, Nursing Si Yamna, standard lobby of a Kwese. Langtabal Temele Karam Sham assured the fun and establishment of a restaurant called The Voice congealed restaurant by a group of hearing impaired and mute people. He was speaking at the launch of T-shirt at the court hall of Manipur University today. Funds collected from these T-shirts will be used in opening the first ever restaurant in Manipur to be opened by people with hearing and speaking disabilities. Cyclish Rohan Filand and Manipur University Students Union jointly organized the event. Nasigi Naharun, Mani Bugi Sason, Batam Kari Matunda, Nakoi Kutta Tagadin, a quick fuser can the high Taragadi, like like shoot Tambaga Luna Lunana, like shoot Tambaga Lunana, Taxi Kasi Tambaga Lunana, a quick Mani Pukunai, Truck Taki Kanja, no in Natal Layano, University Level Layorava, Satrasi, Mani Pudaki Drugs, and Rufanga Mutanabi, Toba Titam, Luminous, Sarkadas, Tilaga Taxi, Society does what Toba Tilaga, Horeb and Harul Sinse. A combined team of 16 Assam Rifle and Thaubal District Police Commander Unit has arrested a man with 336,500 WI tablets from Lilong Ubak Thong Maka. Arrested person is 39 year old Mohammed Nashiruddin, son of late Mohammed Islauddin from Lilong Atau Kong. Acting on a tip of Thaubal Police Team, late by additional SP operation or Wang Komba. Arrested Assisted by OC Inspector and Sadananda and personnel of 16th Assam Rifle, arrested Mohammed Rasi Nashiruddin with the drug from his hut at Lilong Ubak Thong Maka around 9 pm yesterday. He has been headed over to Lilong Police Station with the seized drugs for further legal action. Gangpokpi Forest Division has nabbed 10 trucks carrying stones illegally from the quarry side at Imphal, the Iril Protected 
forest and sands from Dimapur. Kangpokpi Forest Division staffed intercepted the trucks along National Highway No. 2 during routine checked up. Range Forest Officer said the vehicle will be released after payment of the fines of Rs 15,000 rupees per vehicle and 5,000 rupees each per vehicle for the stone. SDRF personnel engaged in the search operation at the Tupult landslide site in Noni district, Rich Imphal today. They started an intense search drive on June 30, which concluded yesterday. SDRF personnel team of 42, led by SDRF inspector M. Robindro, left Noni early this morning. It may be mentioned that the massive landslide buried alive 79 people in the intervening night of June 29 and 30. 18 people were rescued alive out of the 61 missing bodies. 56 bodies have been recovered during the search operation conducted for more than 20 days till today and five remained undressed. The NACNI and has taken strong exception to the stand of the Parliamentary Committee on the Naga political issue that the peace talk concluded on October 31 of 2019. In a recent statement, the NSC and IM stated that had the Indo-Naga political talks concluded on October 31, 2019, a joint statement should have been the normed and not the unilateral statement by R. N. Ravi. The press release said R. N. Ravi may have concluded the talks with N and P. G. S. but not with N. S. C. and I. M. The press release further said Ravi used strong words against the N. S. C. and I. M. talk team to conclude the talks by October 31, 2019, in what was an ultimatum they served to the NSC and with threats and warfare psychosis, while loading Prime Minister Narendra Modi for declaring that the longest insurgency movement in Southeast Asia was solved after the signing of the framework agreement. The NSC and I am said none actioned on competencies has dragged the issue for the last few years and it would be wrong and immature to say that the talk officially concluded on October 31 of 2019. NSNIM added that officially the framework agreement signed on August 3, 2015 had resolved the principal issue but the core points is the non-action on competency. Nationalist Congress Party and CP Chief Sarat Power has dissolved all the department and sales of the party with immediate effect. A late night statement issued by NCP's General Secretary Pafal Patel said that the department and sales of the party have been dissolved with the approval of the NCP chief. Reports indicate that Mr. Power is looking to reorganize the structure of his party following the collapse of the Mahavikas Agadi government in the state. Mr. Power was instrumental in the formation of the MVA, which comprised of Sivasena, Congress and NCP. On the Tuesday, former Maharashtra Minister Ram Das Kadamd had alleged that the NCP chief is trying to break the Siv Sena and he has given proof of this to Sena President Uddhav Thakri. India's largest public sector lender, State Bank of India, has launched its WhatsApp banking services to make banking easier for its customers. Now, SBI customer can avail certain banking services using WhatsApp, which may come in handy for many as they do not have to download the app or go to the ATM anymore. SBI customer can get their account balance and view mini statement on WhatsApp. Customers must first register by sending an SMS to 720-893-3148 with the text WAREG account number 
and a space between them. The SMS should be from the same phone number that is linked to one's SBI account. After successfully registering for SBI WhatsApp banking, a message from SBI's number 902-269-0226 will be sent to one's linked WhatsApp phone. SBI WhatsApp banking service will be available to customers when they send a message saying Hi SBI on the number 902-269-0226. State Bank of India will also offer WhatsApp-based services to its credit card holders through the platforms under the name of SBI Card WhatsApp Connect. Through this, SBI credit card customer can check their account summary, reward point, outstanding balance and MAC card payment. Fourth edition of the five-day Sincha Wuyawund Festival and the Sincha Village in the Kamjong district had concluded. The festival was held from July 15 to July 20. Manipur government is working towards holding the festival at state level from next year. Speaking on the occasion, the Fungyar MLA's Leishiyo Kaishing underlined on the implementing new land law in the hills of Manipur. He said prevailing differences owing to customary law have led to a setback in taking development activities in the hilt districts of Manipur. Attending the event, Ukrul Emily Ramd Muiva appeals to people and media to promote the beauty of Singcha Huyawund flower. Sinchagi Kungi customary loga maku next maku kungi tongale. I'm next pushing amuka kara kidney. Common oiba uniform oiba law same from Tokre. Twenty first century the law same the mapamse. A coin of the arm the accept of the hire. See a coin the same but the same day. A do law later from Mandari. In principle, they have already agreed to give support as a state festival. Principal Chief Conceptor Forest, Dr. Joshi to Hai Mani. Manipur da coniferous fir tree, Hindu sing na kyautar hai na kaubo, yaam bhaja ko udo, chaga anni khagda thaba yai, mao ga ukhrul sini. Mashi coniferous ki nursery taura thashe yai na mao anisho suggestion tau bani. A special meeting of the Manipur State Cooperative, Cooperative Union was conveyed at Sumanglila Sanglen Palace compound today. Attendees discussed various sanctions under bylaw number 23 of closed wand and unanimously resolved to make some amendments. Meritorious students of Churacharnpur Thengra Lakai who have to pass the Class 10 and Class 2 examination 2022 conducted by Board of Secondary Education Manipur and Council of Higher Secondary Education Manipur successfully were felicitated today. Thengra Youth Club Churachanpur organized a 10th Thengra Lakai. Meritorious Award Ceremony 2022 at Thengra Community Hold. Attending the event, social scientist Dr. Dhanavi Laishram congratulated and encouraged the students to strive more to achieve new heights. Representatives of Lois ROL Kukching alleged Tamfasana Girls TG Higher Secondary School of failing to abide by government's reservation policy for OBC, ST and SC in the admission process of Class 11 Science and Arts streamed. Press release from ROL said Tamfasana Girls Higher Secondary School did not abide by reservation of 17% for OBC, 31% for ST and 2% for SC students in the enrollment process. The, new, the news from the world of sports. Eld Dinesh from Manipur, who represented Team India in 75 kg senior category of the 54th Asian Bodybuilding and Physique Sports Championship 2022, has back third position. The championship was held from July 15 to July 21 at Republic of Maldives. Today, on the last day, Eld Dinesh secured the third place 
India back overall team champion, Thailand secured second team champion and Iran back third team champion. Players from Manipur back third medals at the Cadet and Junior Asian Judo Championship. The championship under the ages of Judo Union of Asia was held at Bangkok in Thailand from July 17 till today. Lin Thoi Chanambamd back a gold medal in the Cadet Girls minus 63 kg category. Lai Sang Themd Nungshi Thoi back a silver medal in the Junior Girls minus 57 kg category. And Huidrom Matolebi back a bronze medal in the Junior Girls minus 52 kilograms category. In cadet category, Laishramd Monalisa, Linthoi Chanambamd and Ningthaujamd Seetild Meite and in junior category, Huidromd Matawlebi, Leisangthemd Nungshitoi, Laishramd Sanathoi, Laishramd Roshni and Max Laishramd from Manipur participated in the championship. Angom Surjit was the team coach of the boys and Oinam Rasheshwari was the girls team coach. Three league matches of the 39th JN South Junior Boys District Levels Hockey Tournament were played today. The matches were played at the Hockey Stadium of Kumalam Park Sports Complex under the ages of the YAS Department and the first league match Unaco School involved Wesh Threst. Eklanya mod modeled residential school Kankopi 13-0. In the second league, Youth Pioneers Infault is defeated Lao. Radiant Higher Secondary School Sanapati 2-0. And in the third league match, Maha Union Higher Secondary School Chandled dropped RK Snatombi Vidyalaya Jiribam 6-0. Eight teams divided into two groups are competing in the tournament. Three league matches will be played tomorrow. Today's a three cricket tournament under Manipur Cricket Association were cancelled owing to inclement weather. Second semi-final match of six allied cricket tournaments sponsored to supposed to be played at Luang Popa Cricket Stadium in Luang Sangbam. Fourth league match of sixth played cricket tournament scheduled at Langtabalt Public Ground and 15th league match of the first MNCA under 14th boys cricket tournament supposed to be played at PCC Mayai Koi be ground were all cancelled. Indian badminton player Padupali Keshav beat Chi Yu Zend of Chinese Taipei to advance to the second round of the Taipei Open 2022 at the Taipei Hepping Basketball Gymnasium yesterday. Padupali Keshav beat world number 122 Chi Yu Zend 24 22 21 10 in the first round of the BWF Super 30 badminton tournament. The former Commonwealth Game champion will take on world number 97. Chai Hao Li of Chinese Taipei in the second round today. In the women's singles, Samia Imad Farak and the doubled pair of the Tanisha Krasto and Shruti Mishra moved to the second round while um, Malvika Bonsant lost to the Liang Ting Yu of Chinese Taipei 2 21 10, 15 21, and 14 21. Indian javelin the thrower Anurani entered the final of the World Athletic Championship 2022 at Oregon USA. Anurani entered the finals by throwing 59.60 meter in the semi-finals. On the other side, Olympic champion Neeraj Chopra will be in the action tomorrow in the men's javelin qualification round. Well, that's all we have in this bulletin, but before we wind up, let's take a glimpse at the headlines once again. High-level state cabinet meeting decided to abolish caretakers of autonomous district councils and urban local bodies in Manipur. All Manipur 10 and 11th IRB Viva Vochi completed candidate Storm Chief Minister's residence at Luang Sangbam in Imphal is district demanding result declaration.
Manipur chops in third editions of Niti Ayog's India Innovation Index 2021 in Northeast and Hill States category. Manipur Drivers Association skeptical about National Highway and Infrastructure Development Corporation's assurance that Irang Bailey Bridge will be ready by July. Zelia Rong civil bodies demand government to declare August 29th as a state holiday in the memory of freedom fighter Hypo Jodhana. Coronavirus infected 89 people and claimed two lives in past 20 hours. Manipur COVID cash load reaches 1,38,310. And India adds 21,566 new COVID-19 cases, above 18,000 recoveries and 45 deaths in 24 hours. COVID cash loads above 1,48,000. Well, thank you so much for being with us. Coming up next is Prime Time Manipur Bulletin. In the meantime, for more news and information, please do not hesitate to follow Impact TV on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and YouTube. Until then, have a great evening and always stay safe. Panganjaba, Tangwai Bangi Napsa card holder sing na lakh libo August tarayet English sing ani kungani thoi. Faubgi manungda isha isha gi card renew tau thok piyo. Renew tau daba card sing 